I'm over here. Just wanted to show my adorable t-shirt because it's Hello Kitty. Not a product placement. I am not getting any money from this. Um, I just wanted to show it. Anyways, I have been back from vacation maybe a week and a half or so. And, you know, there was a lot of interesting insight that came during that time. I was gone for a few weeks. I was uh, all over California with a brief stop at the Grand Canyon and then also in Vegas and then just kind of throughout the L.A. area. Um, it was an interesting, it was an interesting trip, mostly fun. Um, something that became ever present in my experience because we ate out a lot. I was with family and we visited relatives and friends and if we didn't eat at their place, we ate out. So there was a lot of eating, uh, which to be honest, I mean, I know really count my blessings, sure, but it's also exhausting to eat so much. Um, it's just funny. But anyways, uh, Something that came up for me was this idea that, you know, people tell you you're on vacation, you should just enjoy. Actually, that came up plenty of times. Those specific words, you're on vacation, you should just enjoy um, in terms of eating a lot uh, and eating maybe things that you don't normally would eat or you should have bigger portions or you should not feel so bad for eating so much. Um, and it was being aware of how I felt about that it was really interesting for me to observe and, and be actively you know a part of because I'm the one doing all the eating as well um, because I almost equated it to let's say if I blew off like five grand on an item and I could say oh I'm on vacation it's all good like I'll justify it right and I kind of felt that way with all the food and all the eating and because I don't really go to buffets very much, um, I'm kind of surprised that I can eat a buffet now because, you know, even just last year, I would probably be like, feel gross at the thought of it because I can't really eat that much anymore. And I was, as I tell my friends and I, was, I remind them, you know, the bigger your body, almost it's like the more you can accommodate. And if you're smaller, like your stomach is literally smaller unless those ones with like hollow legs. And funny enough, my old coworkers used to say I had hollow legs, but um, you can train your stomach to con to you know, uh, accommodate less or accommodate more. And I, I now can eat a little bit more than I used to be able to eat. But before, it's almost like I would sniff my food and I would feel full because I had no space for them in my stomach. But yeah, on vacation, we ate at a lot of places. We had a lot of rice because my dad loves his rice and he really needed that. I was like his safety blanket. Um, and it was kind of gross, you know, to be honest. And so I worked out a lot in the mornings and I was pretty proud of myself because I don't even think I work out that hard or that much when I'm at home. I worked out almost every day and we were at three different hotels at the locations that we were at. Um, so we were there for five days each. And whenever I was at the hotel, I worked out most of the time. I would say like 90% of the time I worked out in the morning before I started my day. Um, when, when, when I was at family friends, I didn't exercise because, you know, it's, hot it's LA and I didn't want to run outside but okay back to the eating before I go off on a tangent here but yeah um it was just funny and then I realized that for me enjoying and enjoying myself is is equivalent to watching you know my diet and I just want to say like I just want to say that I'm not like a food I'm not like super conscious of my food and that I'm not regulated I mean I enjoy what I eat I choose it I'm aware of it but I'm not a food Nazi I'm not like I have a list and I count my carbs and no that's not how I am but I, I'm like an intuitive eater and I go with what my body's craving so now that it's you know really warm I'm craving a lot of salads and lighter things and in the winter time I tend to crave a lot more heavier things like soup and stews and meat so on vacation it was a lot of carbs and it was a lot of meat um but then everyone kept saying, like, it's okay, just, like, enjoy, you're on vacation. And then I didn't really say much about it. I just tried to portion myself, but it was really difficult when you're just, like, faced with all this food. And then I realized it's, like, part of, for me, enjoying is being, is basically regulating myself. And that's what I realized is I could, yeah, I could equate it to if I blew off five grand, ten grand on, a, on something or on an experience. And I didn't feel good. And I like to feel good a lot of the times. And most of the time, you can control you feeling good because it is like a feeling and it's an emotion, right? And everything around us are conditions that contribute to that. But we actually, I mean, in my personal, in my personal beliefs, like we actually can affect and um, direct those things. So the gems for me in that trip was to not feel like 
peer pressure that I have to conform to family and friends and because I'm on vacation and this is what everyone is and you know I'm not even talking about how thankful I, I am of of or of those experiences or of those people and all the abundance of food and deliciousness that we had but just for myself you know having the autonomy to control um, my diet and um, being flexible that I can eat most things but that if I don't want to eat something that I shouldn't feel that I have to and the whole you're on vacation you should just enjoy I mean I me enjoying is me not like overstuffing myself to the point where I am so uncomfortable that I cannot move or I don't want to wear my bikini and I want to wear my, my bikini most of the time because it's freaking hot and I want to hang out by the pool. Anyways, this has probably gone way too long. That was most of my um, vlogs, but those are my thoughts. Um, portion myself for my next vacation. I don't feel like I have to have FOMO with food because if I don't get to eat all the foods here, it's not a big deal. Um, enjoy the foods that I have and just appreciate my surroundings and the people around me and work out a lot that's basically what I have to do now anyways that's it